This is San Diego News Daily. Hello and welcome to San Diego News Daily. I'm Amber Freas. The Sheriff's Arson team and the El Cajon Police Department are investigating a fire that happened overnight. The fire started at about 430 this morning on Main Street and Mollison in a local strip in a local strip mall. The cause of the fire is currently unknown. And this morning we're learning a 22 year old man was accused of a shooting spree that killed one person and wounded at least three others. He is now in custody. Here's what we know. The shooting started around 8 Friday night in Spring Valley. No one was hit in that shooting, but about a half hour later, police say Jaime Gonzalez drove to the Encanto trolley station where he shot and injured two team boys. By 9 p.m., the suspect drove to Bay Terraces and police say he shot two men standing on the sidewalk along Manzana Way. One of the victims was taken to a hospital and later died. We spoke to a witness who heard the commotion as shots rang out. It's pretty normal to hear gunshots in this area, which is super sad. But last night, as soon as I heard that, um, my heart dropped. And just before 10 p.m. last night, police found Gonzalez parked along Paradise Valley Road. Authorities say they found a semi-automatic ghost gun inside his car. Investigators believe it was a random shooting and not targeted. And farm stores around the country are reporting an influx of customers looking to start their own backyard chicken flock because of rising egg prices and the new trend is spreading fast. The Hawthorne Country Store in Escondido tells NBC7 they're completely sold out of chickens. The store does have baby chicks, but if you want eggs, you'll probably have to wait a few months. The chicks average around $12 each, and according to store employees, it takes an average of six months for a chick to mature into an adult hen and start laying eggs. Live chicken regulations vary by city. Here in San Diego, most single family homes are allowed up to five chickens, as long as the chicken coop is in the backyard. And I spend $25 to get 50 pounds of food or so. That lasts for about a month or two months. Um, and you spend a couple hundred dollars once on getting a good coop. So at that point, you know, you have eggs for years and years. And today is the last day to attend one of the biggest Lunar New Year events in all of Southern California. That's happening right here in San Diego. The 18th annual San Diego Tet Festival is in full swing in Mira Mesa Community Park. During this special event, our local Vietnamese community welcomes in the new year. And while last week's shootings are still top of mind for many, festival goers say they refuse to let the tragedy stop them from coming out and celebrating their culture. Event organizers say there's additional security on the ground and police assure them they would have extra patrols monitoring the area. Tonight is the last night to join in the festivities. And we'll have a look at your weather right after this. Only one team in San Diego is certified most accurate. NBC7's First Alert Weather. What does that mean for you? Helping you plan ahead with our hour-by-hour -hour forecasts. And knowing exactly when rain will move in. First Alert Weather is coverage you count on. I'm NBC7's Brooke Martell. We have a lot going on for your Sunday that will continue into your Monday. But first off, we have these cooler daytime highs right around the upper 50s for the most part over your coastline. We're close to that over the inland valleys, but much cooler over the mountains, close to those low 40s and low 60s over the desert region. Let's time out what's happening for today because we have a cold winter storm moving through the region that will continue through Tuesday morning. So light scattered showers for your Sunday. I will say though it will be gusty at times over the mountains and deserts and we have some breezy conditions right around 20 miles per hour for the coast and inland valley. So you can see going through your afternoon we will continue to have some more of that light rain but things really ramp up Monday morning especially during your morning commute. We have a pretty strong cell that will move through and we'll have some heavier precipitation but also we have some snow in the forecast. This can actually last well into Monday night and into your Tuesday morning. So breaking down some of the details here, we do have a winter storm warning for the mountains because of this. It will be in effect from Sunday afternoon until Tuesday morning, and this will actually mean that we have some hazardous driving conditions, especially on Interstate 8. This is where we could have wind gusts from 50 to 60 miles per hour. This will be coupled with a wind advisory going into effect this afternoon as well, lasting until Monday morning at 7 o'clock. Over the deserts, we're looking at wind speeds from 40 to 50 miles per hour. I'll send it back over to you. 
Thanks, Brooke, and get your cameras ready because the Carlsbad Flower Field is set to open this spring season. The field will be open daily after March 1st from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Single ticket admission is $23 for adults, $12 for children ages 3 to 10, and free for children under 3. Season passes are also available for $48 for adults and $24 for children ages 3 to 10. For ticket purchase and more information, visit our website, NBC7.com. And there's more coverage you can count on on NBC7.com and you can always find us on your Roku or Samsung Smart TV app. Thanks for watching.